Hi everyone, welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. My name is Julie Baca and you guessed it, we're gonna be using my one of my new favorite stamp sets again today, the Taco Fiesta. I love this stamp set, it is so much fun. It's perfect for birthdays or kids or Cinco de Mayo or um, masculine cards. I just absolutely love it. I've got a really fun, fun fold card to show you how to make. Um, it's It looks really complicated, but when I show you the steps, you're gonna see how simple it is. I feel like I say that all the time, but, but um, I guess a lot of these fun fold cards really are so simple, they just look complicated. Um, before we get started, if this is February 2023 when you're watching this, there are only a few days left of celebration. That's when you get to pick something free out of their exclusive celebration items with every $50 purchase. So there are stamp sets you can pick from, uh, pretty papers, punches, um, card making kits, and even a stamp and die bundle that you can pick from. So go check that out. You only have a few days left. If you're watching and this is March 2023, there are some new products that were just released. So head over to my website um, to see those new products. Stampin' Up's going to be doing this. They're going to be releasing new products every couple of months. So it's just something fun to look forward to. All right, let's get started on this fun fold card. So when you first look at this card, it looks very normal with the uh, circle detail, but then when you open it, you get this great pullout that gives you plenty of space to decorate and show off your stamps, plenty of space for people to sign the card, especially if you have, if this is like a group card. So I think this is so clever. I learned this from Jackie Bullheis at the Clomp and Stampers. She's my team leader um, and I love getting ideas from her. So what we're gonna do is start with this circle. So you're gonna start with a regular card base and then you're gonna take a three inch circle. I'm using the Stylish Shapes dies for my cards because I love the stitching that it gives. So I'm going to put my circle in the middle and I'm going to use actually a post-it note to hold this in place because I want it to stay centered when I put it through my cut and emboss machine. Um, I don't want that shifting. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through my large cut and emboss machine. So now that is going to cut out the center of our card. Now you can see that um, on my example I used a black circle because I liked that setting that off. Um, so if you're gonna make multiple cards, save these insides because you can mix and match them. And that's what I did. I'll show you what, um, how I did that. So I'm gonna cut out one in black and then one in white for the front. So now you're going to grab your stamp set and decide what you want to put in the center of your card. And um, I'm, we're also going to decorate this card base. I'm going to actually make the same one I did here because I want to show you how to add this hat to the cactus so that you know how to use it in other parts of your card. But we're going to go ahead and start by stamping our card base. Now I wanted this to be subtle um, so that the image in the middle really stands out. So I'm going to use real red cardstock and real red ink so that it just gives a nice subtle uh, image. So and while you have this open, go ahead and put one image on the back of your card. I love the detail of when the card is closed to have a little image right there. And because we're using a cactus with a sombrero, we're gonna add a couple sombreros to the front of our card also. You can see I'm just stamping uh, purposely um, turning my stamps so that they're not all going the same direction. I like that to be kind of more interesting that way. And I'm also stamping off the paper so that you only have partial images. So that really adds a little bit of flair to the card like that. Now go ahead. Oh, <laughs> I got my chamois already in here. This is, I love just having my chamois right here, especially on stamp sets where um, I'm going to be taking the stamps on and off because there are multiple pieces. So we're gonna wipe this off so that we can use our black. So you're gonna grab your, whoop, that's my example. Grab your white and you're gonna start with the sombrero. So when you're, this is called a masking technique. When you want your, your stamps to be over on top of each other. Let me show you an example. Where is my black? There it is, okay, we're good now. Okay, let me show you what would happen if we stamp our, black and then we stamp the sombrero on top. You can see that the images are 
overlap you can see them but we want to mask it off so what we're going to do whatever image you want to be on the top you're going to stamp that first so i want my sombrero to be on top of his head so i'm going to put this on my circle kind of at an angle like that now we're going to stamp it again you're going to grab your sticky note and where the sticky is you're going to stamp your image again and you're gonna let that dry for just a sec and then you're gonna trim it with scissors so now you've got adhesive on the back of here you're gonna be able to reuse this multiple times so now once you have that cut out put that over the top of the sombrero that you already have stamped now grab the image that you want to be underneath that which is our cactus. I want this kind of coming off the top of his head, I guess, for lack of a better word. And now, check this out. We're gonna peel this off and bam, he's wearing a hat. Now, one tip is, because you guys know I don't really like fussy cutting because I don't want to have to do this again. I'm gonna just keep that right there. I'm gonna be able to reuse it and reuse it until it doesn't stick anymore. Now to get these gorgeous colors here, we're going to use Stampin' Blends, but the reason why we stamped this right now is because I'm going to put the rest of our card together while this is drying. Um, if you color um, on this too quickly, too soon after you've stamped it, it's going to smear it. So we're going to set this aside and we're going to do the inside of our card here. I'm going to I'm going to show you how to make this pull out, but we're also going to stamp this image so that we can color it in later. I am going to clean up this disaster mess going on here. Okay, so now I'm going to get my project sheet out so I get these measurements correct. All the measurements for this project and all my other projects are over on my website, sunnydaystamping.com. There's a link in the description of this video that'll take you right to the blog post so you don't have to worry about the measurements I'm about to give you. Um, if you're an email subscriber, you'll get this print and make project sheet um, that has some written instructions, all the supplies, um, and the link to the video. But you can find that on my website too. Not the written instructions, but all the other stuff. So now you're going to need a piece of white cardstock, or if you want to do a colored interior, that's fine too but I want to give you a tip on how to cut this because the the piece you need is going to be eight by five and a quarter I'm going to make two though because you're going to want to make a couple of these cards they're so much fun so what we're going to do is we're going to um, put it in portrait mode so remember this is a piece of cardstock is eight and a half inches wide so we're going to go ahead and trim that down to eight right now don't throw out this little scrap this is like absolutely perfect for stamping sentiments right there just to put on your card without having to cut, cut it so i'm gonna put my oh let me show you this this is where i keep all my white card stock just so it's easy because i use this on almost every card and i have this little bin right under my desk so i can just throw it in there okay so now we've trimmed that down to eight and now we trim it to five and a quarter and if you're going to make another card you're going to go ahead and trim this at five and a quarter now you're going to rotate it so it's on the long way and we're going to score this at four and at six. I mean, that's so easy. I forgot to talk about this paper trimmer that I absolutely love. If you are needing a paper trimmer, this is the one I'm just telling you. It's only 25 bucks. It comes out. This arm goes all the way out to over 17 inches. You can cut big pieces of paper. I love this thing. And you can buy replacement blades. Okay. So now we're going to fold our white cardstock accordion style. So you probably can't see the score line we just made, but it's right there in the middle. So we're going to fold this in half and burnish the edge with your bone folder. And now there's a score line here that you're going to fold this back on itself. See, so easy. Okay, so when you are coloring with Stampin' Blends, and I'll show you later, they bleed through. I mean, that's just how they are. So when you are um, coloring with them, you want to be able to layer it on top. So this image I'm going to be able to color because I'm going to lay layer it with the um, card base on the back so you're not going to be able to see it um, bleeding through but all these other images I'm just going to stamp and not color so that it doesn't bleed through on the back but you know what if that doesn't bother you then color away all right so now just go grab some more images from that stamp set that you like and just put one in the corner here stamp it in black and throw a sentiment on there 
There we go. Now we'll let that dry. Now, while we're letting that dry, we'll go ahead and stamp the rest of this panel. Oh my goodness! Darn diggity darn, I got black on there. Okay, so now I'm going to grab some fun colors. Don't be uh, intimidated by the number of colors I'm using in this project. You pick your favorite ones. You don't need all this if you are new to stamping. If you're a veteran stamper and you have all the colors, man, pull them out. This is a fiesta. So we've got big tortilla chips, small tortilla chips, and now this adorable little lime that I just absolutely love. We're just gonna pop this around. Remember, you're gonna your circle is gonna be right here. So some of this is gonna be covered up, um, but we can go back in and throw throw another stamp there if we need to. Let's see. <laughs> Now you can see I'm making sure to stamp off my paper. I'm making sure to stamp on the different panels too. Um, I'm, you're gonna want uh, something to cover up your work surface. <laughs> these these uh, I, are the big grid paper. I cut it into four pieces, but honestly, I like the bigger paper. I think I'll, I'll stop cutting these, but I, I kind of wanted you to see my pretty table that I my mom and I redid over Christmas time. <laughs> All right, so let's set this aside. Let's bring in our Stampin' Blends and color our cactus. So I've got a bunch of colors here. You don't need this many colors. You just take what you want and we'll have fun with it. Okay, we're gonna, I like to start with my light color and then accent with the dark and then go back over with the light. These are blends. They come in a pack of two that coordinate with each other so that you can create um, just dimension and shadows. They're alcohol markers, so they are like really easy to color with, which I love. So now I'm gonna come back with my dark and just kind of add some where I think it would be darker underneath his hat, kind of on one side here. Now go back in with your light. Now you can see I'm I'm closing my markers every time. These are alcohol based, so they are gonna dry out. So you gotta be, um, you wanna make sure you're covering them back up. Now you can see I'm not gonna cover over this light part because I kinda want three different shades of that color. And you can just keep going over it. It's not gonna tear through your paper until it's nice and smooth like you like it. Now we'll add some color to his hat. So you can see I used the brush tip before. Now I'm gonna use this pointy tip because I want a little bit more control over where this is. It's kind of a smaller spot. Mm, I don't like that tip for this, for this job. I need the, the brush back. Oh wow, yeah, that makes such a difference. So there's my light. I'm going to go over in the dark just on this corner here and then rub it back in. Now we're going to let this dry again before we use those adorable faces that come in this stamp set. Like we want to add this mustache later, but in my other video, you notice I put it on too quick and it just bled. So we're going to let this, we're going to let this sit. Oh wait, before we do that, we are going to put a little bit of crumb cake just on the bottom of here. So this cactus isn't just floating in the middle of nowhere and then we will also on this we're going to stamp our sentiment on top of this kind of sandy color and that's going to make it uh, really pop out okay so let's set this aside and color in our pepper Okay, now I'm going to go back over with this light red, kind of mixing this in, but I'm going to leave a portion here where I'm not going to color it, just so it's got those three shades of red that really gives it that uh, dimension that I like. If you haven't tried these markers, I'm telling you, I absolutely love them. Throw, throw a, a combo pack into your cart next time. Um, and just like slowly accumulate them and I, I think you're gonna love them. 
Now we are almost done with our card. We're like ready to put it together and I'm getting a little impatient because I want these to dry and I'm just not quite sure if they are. This one probably is, but this one isn't. So I'm gonna actually hit it with my heat gun, which is a really quick because I'm impatient. So now you have to choose which face, <laughs> which face you want, which is so hard, but man, I'm like in love with the mustache. I think I wanna put the mustache everywhere. Just gonna pop that on to the center of our, I'm gonna make sure this is nice and black. There we go. Oh, that just makes it so, so cool. Should I put another one here? Is it too much mustache? Here, we'll do the winky face on this one. Oh yeah, that's cute. Now we just have one more thing to do. We need to put a sentiment on the front. So you're gonna line your sentiment up on your grid paper, or I have a line right here on my table and then line your block up on top of that to get it nice and straight. We can't mess up on this because we already colored this <laughs> and now we're gonna just line that up. I'm gonna put it on top of my sand that I made right there. Yeah, it looks so great. All right, let's put this card together. So there's definitely an order for how you want to put this card together. Oh, you see, you can see how those uh, markers bleed through. So no problem, we just have to make sure that we have a card behind it. So you're gonna center this up on your card base. Is mine centered? There we go. <laughs> now you're gonna close this and close this. This is an important tip. So we're gonna, now we're gonna put this here, but we don't wanna glue it on there because then we won't be able to open what's underneath, right? So what we're gonna do, boy, it's getting little flakes everywhere. Fold this, fold this. Now, do you see where this is folded? We're gonna just put glue right here. Don't try putting glue on the black piece. That would be, that's just way too much work to try to figure out uh, where to put the glue. Put the glue right here and then set your circle right on top. Bam! You're not gonna, I mean, you're not getting glue anywhere. It's right where it's supposed to be. Rub that till it's nice and dry. You got it. Now you have to decide, oh, do I want some more stamps? I actually think that looks good. So we're going to leave it just like that. Last thing, you can glue this on top, but I am going to pop it up with dimensionals. Boy, I put those in like a really weird order. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited to show you all these examples. I just love the colors. You can see, you can do all different things. This one is stamped on the inside and these I just stamped in black. I didn't use colors. I told you, you don't need that many colors. This is, this is purple and green and brown. Purple, green, and brown. That's all you need for that one. This one, you can see you can use different images on the front and back. You can turn your, your red pepper into a jalapeno, color some little red peppers in. Then the pinata out of that stamp set is so adorable. And I just put those on the inside and I hung this here. You're not gonna be able to see how this goes together. Also, I'll, I'll put a picture on my website so you can really see this one. Um, and then this is a mirror image where you, um, I'll make a YouTube short of this where you stamp on your craft sheet, your silicone, you stamp on your silicone craft mat and then you press that on there to give you a reverse image. So if you want um, like this one where it is uh, an image on both sides and then here's the one that we made. Tell me which one do you like the best? I hope you had fun watching and got inspired by some of the examples I showed you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You can also click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. If you love paper crafting and tend to buy a lot from Stampin' Up, you may want to check out becoming a Stampin' Up demonstrator. Um, right now during celebration through the end of February, there's a great starter kit deal. There's always a good deal on the starter kit, but this one in particular, um, don't pass it up if you've been considering it. I'd love to have you on my team. You'd also be part of Jackie Bullheis's Clomp and Stampers team. She um, is a big YouTuber out there. She's my upline, so you would be part of her team and get all of her benefits. She's got a great crafting community of just encouraging uh, paper crafters. Um, she also has her Creative Eight retreats that you can earn for free based on um, sales and things, and also her wildly popular Fun Fold card class that she does with her husband. She gives those 
videos to her demonstrators um, and you would be one of those even when you join with me. So uh, reach out to me if that's something that you have more questions about. All right, have a sunny day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.